Hey guys, today I want to show you this little espresso script to create a vertex map based on the speed of individual points in your animated geometry. There was this plugin called PLA Velocity Tag plugin that uh, did exactly this, but it was Windows only unfortunately and is not being developed anymore. So this guy, Yader, you should check out his Vimeo page, he's full of great stuff. Uh, he came up with a cool idea to use thinking particles to calculate uh, the points velocities and output it to a vertex map. So I adapted his script a little bit and uh, added some uh, uh, user data input fields to it so uh, it's uh, easier to control. Yeah, so this is how it works. Um, I have this animated teapot here running around. Uh, he's from the content browser, I think. And um, this is the vertex map that's on the teapot. And as you can see, based on how how fast his legs or, or uh, certain parts of the teapot are moving, based on that speed, uh, it's outputting a vertex map that uh, um, has uh, different weights on it, depending on the point's speed. So on the user data, on the script, you just throw in your object, you throw in the vertex map that is on the object, uh, you have to create it uh, yourself. So um, in case you don't know how to create a vertex map, you just, um, I think you have to be in uh, polygon mode, maybe not, let's see, set vertex. Yeah, you have to be in, in, in one of those, in one of those three modes, point edge over polygon mode and uh, set vertex weight, use this command to generate a vertex map. Then you can just drag it into the vertex map field here and uh, you're actually ready to go. So um, by default, the max speed is set to 2000. So this is the, the max uh, maximum speed of each point if in your geometry that uh, being outputted as 100% in the uh, vertex map. Uh, the minimum speed is uh, set to zero. So you can just drag this, for example, to 0.5 over here, and then everything that's slower than um, 0.5 times 2000, so 1000, is uh, being um, outputted as a zero in the vertex map and everything below uh, uses this spline. So you can really quickly get uh, vertex maps to only accentuate points that are, or, or areas in your geometry that are actually moving fast. Um, if you're having multiple geometries and you want to use multiple instances of this vertex map script, you can just drag in particle groups. So um, you would uh, just have, let's say, two different groups in here. And uh, let's say you had two instances of the geometry and two vertex map uh, scripts running. So this one has this one inside and this vertex map inside. And you can assign different groups to different vertex map scripts. So they can be calculated simultaneously. If we color those guys and make them visible, uh, now you see this is the group two. And uh, if I, oops, delete this guy, you see this is group one. So you can do multiple characters with different settings in your vertex map script. Let's undo this quickly. Okay, close that. Um, by default, your 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 thinking particles are visible in the viewport. You can just make them invisible again. Um, what else do we have? The animation start is the frame at which the thinking particles are born, and your calculation is starting, which in this case is frame zero and uh, they're living for a thousand frames or if your animation is any longer than a thousand frames you can just um, up this value to whatever you need it to be. What you can use this for, for example, you can drive X particles with it and emit particles only on the fast moving pieces of the geometry. So X particles are just being generated here on, on the legs and on the front of this, um, on the teapot's nose or you can make those fancy comic speed lines with X particles trails, for example, or you can also 
set them to this uh, crazy all points to all points mode and uh, achieve this kind of effect. Or of course you can drive Turbulence FD with it and uh, generate this smoky stuff going on or maybe some fire even. Yeah, so that was it. I will uh, post a link to the download in the description and see you soon.